We got to meet Kim's new assistant, Sweetie, and quickly found out that it's not the typical employer-employee relationship. Let's take another look. Sweetie! She's calling me. I have to go attend. I've known Sweetie for more than 10 years now. She's part friend, part employee. I need to go pee for real. Oh, the bathroom's nice. F you, I can't even fit in here. So as far as an assistant goes, it's the best case scenario. You think you're gonna handle the seven days without me and your mom? Why does Sweetie have to go, mommy? Sweetie's my therapist, my friend, my cheerleader, and she's that to my girls as well. You're a diva, you know it. Sweetie! Sweetie! Pick me up. Sweetie, get me my cigarettes right now, Sweetie. Hurry, run, run, run. Sweetie, 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 where's my hair? Oh. I hate my life. Sweetie do this, sweetie do that. I don't know how sweetie deals with being talked to like that. What the f are you doing? You like a damn slave master sitting on the damn plantation. <laughs> the way that you guys interact with each other, you know, people might find that to be offensive. What is offensive about the way that we interact? Kim, you're white and sweetie's black. Well, I, but white and black and all this shenanigans, I don't even see that. I know you don't, but that, uh, that's the problem. <sighs> You think you can talk to people like they're a slave? Your slave is behind you. F you, bitch, are you kidding me? You, you sitting up here saying dumbass and you bitch and where's my and Go and get my cigarettes. It's just like, bitch, you're too hot, a slave. Mm -mm. Certain things you cannot you can say to black women. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you felt like you were a slave, would you tell me? Yeah, I don't know why she thinks I'm a slave. If I am a slave, slaves don't get paid, dumbass. You might well put a chain around her neck and drag her. So, Kim, does Sweetie still work for you? Yeah. How long has she been with you? 11 years. 11 years? Yeah. Wow. Um, Marsha from Brooklyn wants to know, is it really necessary for you to have an assistant? You don't have a job and never seem to do anything but drink, eat, and shop. I know that's the way it looks. I know, but, you know, I do have a wig line. I do have a book. <laughs> I'm doing music. I do have two kids. You have a book? Yes, coming out. I mean, what I got a lot book? going on. Um about my relationship, like kind of how to land your own big papa in a roundabout way. It's kind of Okay, yeah. all right. So I have a lot going on. So yes, I need, you know, an assistant. Miss Q in Florida says, Kim, you're very condescending towards Sweetie. You say that she's your friend, assistant. However, you treat her like an unwanted flea. Well, I mean, that's the way that you guys see it. You guys see a portion of it, but Sweetie's been with me 11 years. I'm not paying her a gazillion dollars. And if she wasn't happy, she knows where the door is. And Sweetie and I caught up and we have a good time, but there's a time for play and there's a time for work and there's a time for all these things and it works well. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of racial issues that come up in this show, really. Um, but I want to talk about what Derek J brought up to Kim, which is he said, you better watch it because you're a white woman talking to a black woman in a very condescending way. Does and so if she was white, it would be different. Here's what I told him. I'll tell you the same answer. I don't see color, and I never have. You could be purple, green, black. I really don't give a shit. And Derek laughs at me. He's like, I know you don't. So on the show, a... all you see is, you know, oh, sweetie, know. get this, sweetie, get know, that. You know, know. You, you don't really you do. see, yeah. Yeah. you know, you right. ever really, you know, showing her a lot of respect. But, but I did but do it does those things, look like but there's, the, we also have really show, great moments, like where I made her Christmas really special. That. And I really, really appreciate sweetie, and she knows just how much I appreciate her. She also plays a huge role in my children's lives. So sweetie is far bigger than what you see on this screen for 20 minutes. I mean, I think what, what we all must remember is historically this country has had a very troubled past with race relations. And we're just 57 years out from Brown versus the Board of Education where blacks were integrated into white schools. So Especially lest we in the South. ever forget, no matter what you say, we are somewhat more sensitive because of our troubled past. I'm black, I live in the South, and it is still 2011 and there's racism, and people are still hurt, people still feel a certain way, but everybody wants to turn a blind eye and say just because, you know, black people have progressed to this level, we, you know, have a black president, we're on equal footing, but First the footing is president. not equal. There's still a lot of tension and we have to realize that. Well, I think it's interesting and it's an issue that this show hasn't talked about that much. 
Well, listen, I just want to be clear that it's not a black-white issue for me. Yeah. It's just strictly human respect. So that's the only reason why I'm offended. Well, on that note, we'll be right back. Coming up... You're well, the one that... Somebody somebody we're doing that photo shoot, sweetie. You don't my, my, my sweetie, get my purse, sweetie, get my stuff. That's me. That's offensive.